Good morning. Sun shining, blue skies. I thought I'd enjoy a brew before we weigh in. Oh. Okay. So there you have it, 175.2. That's more than a five pound drop and we're into the fourth day of depletion. Tomorrow, the loading begins. So here is me now. There's no pump, I haven't done anything. I've just woken up, made a brew. Not even finished the brew yet, because I had to weigh myself. Just had a little sip, a little sip, 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 brew. So here you go. You can see the changes are significant. In what are we in now? Fifth day? Five days, five days. Look at the difference from this to what you saw on that first day. Look, I can barely grab anything. Still, this is this is this here is fat. There is fat here, so this is my problem area. So you can still grab bits here, but not like the handfuls we could get before, because now the fluid is gone and we're just left with tub 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 fat fat tub fat fat. Am I doing fitness girl right? <sighs> Quick look at the old Chicken noodles. Another funny thing is, look, if I put my legs together and hide this bit and turn my knees in, look how skinny I can make my legs look. And then I just go, meat, meat, huh. A little bit of calf. They're always super shredded, so kind of pointless. A bit of hammy in there. So there you go, five days. I should expect to tighten up even more when the carb load goes in because the muscles will swell and make me look huge. Oh. Try it one more time. Three, two, one, transition. Go, go, go. Come on, let's go. Rux, come on. Come on, you little weirdo. Yeah. Do you not want any exercise? Come on. <laughs> Come on, Bailey. Come on, Bailey. Come on, Bailey. Good girl. I'm a tiny person. So I just wanted to come and make sure you're all right, because obviously I've known like for years. <laughs> but I've got shit on my hands. Don't, don't. No, this is yeah, what she's always looks yeah, like. Yeah, thank you for yeah, that. Is... That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, we won't use that. No, we'll here. <laughs> because we've secretly come to another little bit of a show with the dead squirrel. <laughs> it's the Mr. Pennine. And um, yeah, basically what it is, is Lainey felt like she looked great. Her diet was going well. She's continuing to diet through anyway because we're seeing like how lean we can get her to then do a really effective lean it's day. It's not saying we, it's me. It's all me people, all me. Lainey just wears the bikinis. And then we're going to lean gain her back out so real slow because that's the only bit Really? Me and my, my coach Will Grazion yeah. will be lean gaining. Lean gaining. Because that's the only bit you've ever struggled with, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Is the timing after. I was saying about on one of my, I think it was Instagram or something, about how, or maybe it was YouTube, about how I'm hoping that if I shift the fat this time and keep it off for a prolonged period, that maybe my fat will redistribute a bit better on my body, that maybe I'll get more on my upper body um, as I reverse out rather than it all just going straight to my legs. Let me know. We'll Ooh. see. Half past one, so about an hour up. We need to start shaking this hair down. So we shall see you out on the stagey stagery. Yeah? Yep, yep, yep. So final day depletion quick update. All I've had this morning is 140 grams of apple, then went out on the bike. Basically had a fasted morning. And now I'm having poop. It's not food, it's not real food, but I've got to have something. But what it means is, again, I'm banking macros for later. The only thing I should have done was have more protein earlier on because eating a lot more protein later in the day is a bit more difficult than eating a lot of carbs and fats because they're the fun bits. Anyway, so peanut protein, laney stage, uh, and then hopefully off the start to get the hair done. Yes.
four days of depletion done. What actually happened was on the day when he went for a show, ended up massively under eating. And my macros look out of what you have a look, it's one where I've logged on my food blog, where there's like um, fried Jamaican dumplings and all that, because we went to Turtle Bay for food afterwards. But we were supposed to get food in the middle of the day and we didn't, and then by the time we got to the end of the day, things were so fucked up and my I mean, I logged everything, but I wasn't happy with it. So what I've actually done is I've actually done five days of depletion because I wanted to hit that regular macro numbers that I've been hitting of the 210 protein, 150 carbs, 55 fat. I wanted to get that level before we started the load. I'd actually under eaten the day before when the show was, so... And doing that extra day depletion isn't going to benefit me anymore. I mean, once it's depleted, once the body's down, it can't go any lower and you can see that by the fact my weight hasn't changed it stayed at 175 even regardless from that extra day of under eating so the body is now down and depleted but it's leveled out of the macros i gave you because i wanted to wanted it to just be consistent now from this moment on we start the loading phase but here's the physique from the depletion so it's going to be a little bit flat but you should see some noticeable differences from day one to now which has only been six days six days difference Here we go. So there you have it, that is full days of depletions done. So this is me, as flat as I'm gonna be, zero pump, just woken up, 175.2 I think was the weigh-in. Now we start the load. Praise be to Batman. So starting the day off with a real flat bread, none of that low carb stuff. It's only a small one though, 16 grams of carb. Got my bacon medallions in there, a whole egg, and a little bit of light cream cheese. It's not going crazy on the fat, but I want to start loading those carbs in. So remember what I told you about the loading phase. We've gone through the depletion to then force the body to load, fill it back up with the carbs, the glycogen, and then it's going to get that response to overload by an extra, I think it's 30%, we should get that extra swell factor. But things change here. Protein is going to drop to 180. Carbs to day 350. Fats down a little bit to 50. The reason we do that is because we want to Concentrate the body on reloading that glycogen. Start swelling the muscles, filling them back up. You can still see, even when I flex, I'm still very flat. There's not a lot of vascularity going on. So that's what we should see changing over the next two days. Much more vascularity, more tightness, more detail, more lines. But we still need to keep that consistency for the body. So we still need the protein turning in there to keep the digestion going and to keep that consistency as well. We still want to support the body in the normal factors bringing the fats down just a touch so that we can concentrate on allowing the body to utilize that sugar. Basically we want the digestion focused on the carb uptake at this point. So we also just need to stay well hydrated. So we're going to be looking at taking between two and three liters of water today to help draw that glycogen into the muscles, help fill them up alongside the water. So we're looking at a total calorie count of 2,610 for today. And here's the interesting thing. Tomorrow morning, we fly to Turkey, which is another reason I added in that extra day depletion. Because what I want to do is I want to show you guys how I'm going to take this load into a holiday look. So I'm going to do today and then tomorrow I'm going to load whilst traveling. So I'll vlog each thing that I do, how I do it whilst on the travel. Then when we get to the place, hopefully, fingers crossed, there'll be good enough gym for me to pump up and show you this final end result. Might actually overlap into the next morning, in which case if that does, I'll just let you know but it will be the next morning that I do the physique update, so I still have the load from the day before. And the loading for the final day will be 160 protein, so we bring that protein down again, 400 carbs and 45 fat. Now the reason we do that is because, again, we want that carbohydrate load, but I'm also gonna add in some extra little additional things just before doing the physique reveal at the very end to help peak the body, and that's gonna include a lot of 
kind of fat based tricks. So that's why I bring those fats down so then we can utilize them just prior to um, the reveal so that the body kind of reacts acutely to them and instantly, which is what we want. And again, we just bring that protein down because we're taking a lot more carbs. We don't want to be bloated, but we need to keep the protein in there just for the consistency and the digestion. Makes sense? Now, if you want to join in, what are you gonna do? Okay, so just finished recording the crew cast with Lainey, had a couple of snacks and things like that through, but it's just been stuff like this, like some sweet chili, still kind of healthy actually. Uh, that's something like 12 grams of carb. I also had a uh, pretzel protein bar. I've had uh, an oat milk coffee, now gone. I'll put links to these cups in the description. You always ask me where we're getting them. These like cool dual level cups, just Amazon. Just Amazon. I'll put them below. So now it's going to start getting towards training time. I'm, I'm going to spend a little bit more time editing. I've got to get this podcast up. It's just down there going on. And once that is rolling, I'll head to the gym. So I want to start piling in the carbs now from this point. So I didn't really want to load up through the morning while I'm sat, not being that active. With that in mind, this is my best of both milks. So it tastes like semi-skimmed. It's actually near skimmed milk because remember, we want to keep the fats down. I'm going to have cornflakes, simple carbs with some fruit fiber because I love them. I don't really want the fiber at this point of the day, but this is gonna be my real only big intake and I still need some. So it's gonna be 50 grams of the fruit fiber, 50 grams of the cornflakes, milk, and a little drizzle of five grams of cinnamon honey on top. If you haven't had this, oh my God, get it. It's awesome. So there we go, mixed bowl, 50 grams of cornflakes, 50 grams of the fruit and fiber. And the trick with this is put the honey on before you put the milk on. That way, if any bit's gonna get trickled through, it will be pushed down by the milk and you won't just be left with it all on the top. Watching this till it hits that five grams. Bam, done. Bit of bob. Where are we gonna see, 180? Nah, it's gonna need 200. And there you have it, cereals. One of my preferred meals towards training time. This one's a little bit starchy and a little bit fibrous, hence I'm having it now a couple of hours before. Then before training, more simple carbs. I'm also gonna have a snack of some Dr. Zach's protein bread with a little bit of Marmite and a little bit of light clover. Mmm. Carbs, 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 carbs. Laundry, laundry, laundry. <laughs> this is the crap I'm having to go through to get videos uploaded right now. Yeah. Sat in McDonald's, having to upload it, and this is the crew cast going out today. Look at this shit. This is even on their Wi Fi. Oh, and a bonus. On a bonus, it's a loading day, which means I've got myself a peri-peri grilled chicken wrap, no mayo, and a McFlurry for fast sugars and fats, because at this rate, I'm just going to put it on my fucking phone to upload, whilst I go training. Fucking Britain. So, half an hour later, I've been in the gym. Today I was supposed to squat, but I haven't had the chance because of that diabolical upload time that I've had for the video. It took me four hours to get that podcast uploaded to YouTube. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. But instead what I've come in and done is I've done a 40 minute full body workout. Now, if you're doing this peaking for a show, this is what you want to be doing on your final days. Anyway, half an hour full body on the second to last day. On your final day before the show, you want to be doing just a full body, light, nothing to failure, 40% workout just to get the blood pumping and help push, well, draw all those carbs and water into the muscles. Is that screen dirty? <laughs> So tomorrow we travel to Anatolia in Turkey for a five day breakaway before the madness of May where we're going to be all over the show including the Gymshark pop-up store at the Body Power weekend but we'd be there the whole prior week as well doing a lot of collaborative work then we go over to Ireland the weekend after which hopefully we'll be meeting up with a couple of familiar faces but for now this is it full body workout first day of loading I'm going to give you just a sneak peek at the already quite impressive transformation that you can see and this is literally a few hours from when you last saw me and we're not even through the full loading period yet this is just day one we've got day two and there's some handy little tricks that i'll be showing you when i do the full body reveal so until then let's get back to the house get some eating done and then tomorrow morning half six early doors so, if the uploads get a little bit staggery from here on, it's because the internet in Turkey is somehow 
worse than in Britain, if that's even possible. Ah.